Rust can be a major headache and finding something to remove it can be even worse. Stop wasting your time on home remedies and let me show you what I use to remove rust. Hi, I'm Cody, a carpenter with 10 years of experience. And today I wanna to talk to you about how I remove rust. I've tried all the tips and tricks to remove rust just like you. And the results I've found are just a little lackluster. So today let's talk about Rust-Oleum Rust Remover. It's a product that I found about three years ago and I've absolutely just used it on everything. I've chosen a few rusted examples for us to go through today, ranging from a light surface rust to a deep, old, aged, pitted rust, and we're gonna put this Rust-Oleum Rust Remover to the test. This product states that in as little as 30 minutes, it can remove rust from aluminum, chrome, and even galvanized surfaces. In my experience, most surface rust can be removed within 30 minutes like the product states, but if you have a deeper, heavier rust, it may take a few coats and definitely a bit more than 30 minutes. This product does contain a few harmful chemicals in order to remove the rust as well as it does. It even includes a mild acid, so we want to make sure we go ahead, we wear our gloves, our eye protection, and our breathing protection, and make sure that we don't breathe any of the fumes that are coming off this product as we spray it. Before we get started, let's take a deeper look at some of the examples we have for you today. The first example today is going to be an example of a light surface rust. Surface rust is a orangier, lighter rust that typically forms on almost all metal objects that are outside and unprotected. Our second example today is going to be a deeper, more pitted rust, a little bit more age on this rust. Most of the time this rust has already penetrated through whatever coating was on the surface to protect it and has begun to eat away at the surface. Our third and most extreme example of rust is going to be our hammer with our deep, heavy, pitted, aged rust. Most of the times things that are this rusted are most considered to be a goner, but with this product we're going to go ahead and try to bring this hammer back to life. Today's artistic tip is to use a container or a tray. If you use a container, you can soak some of your hard, rusty bolts. And if you use a tray, you can scoop some of that excess and put it back on top for your second coat. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet already, guys, I still have less than a thousand subscribers. If you appreciate the work I've put in on this video, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe below. The application of this product couldn't be simpler. Once you've made sure to prep your surface and remove any excess oil or loose dirt, you're then ready to spray and watch this product work. After about 30 minutes, I came back to check the progress. I noticed that the surface rust was almost completely removed and now we just need to do a little bit more work with the wire brush and a few more coats of this product just to see how far we can push it. If you're dealing with the deeper, more pitted rust like I am with this hammer, I suggest getting a wire brush and scraping and scrubbing between each coat. You'll be able to see a little bit deeper and you'll be able to help that next coat of product penetrate just that bit more. After about another hour, I came back to check the progress on the rest of these projects. The level two rust is almost completely removed and now all that we're left with is the challenge of removing this old, hard, deep pitted rust on our hammer. Before I applied the final coat to this hammer, I made sure to scrub it down once again with the wire brush and made sure to clean the surface completely before I applied that final coat. After about another hour, I made sure to wipe down and clean all of our surfaces with the soap and water to make sure to neutralize any acid and it was time to see the final finish. The results from this project are absolutely amazing. I can't state enough how well this product works. From a level one to a level three rust, this product seems to be able to handle it all. In my opinion, I would give this product a rating of a 4.5. The only reason I wouldn't rate it a 5 is because it does take a bit longer for a deeper, heavier, pitted rust, and the fumes and the toxicity of the chemicals involved does make it a little bit less desirable to use, but overall, it's still the best formula that I've found to remove rust. Before I could call this project done, I decided to go a step further. I sealed this raw metal surface on the hammer with Krylon's cast iron hammered finish. Krylon's hammered finishes have become my go-to accent spray paint, and I couldn't resist the opportunity to spray this hammer in a cast iron finish. It really replicated a genuine metal look. And if you're interested in some of these finishes, make sure to check out the video I have lined up for you next. Thanks for watching, guys.